you've gotten a ton of press now because you recently changed your policy on tipping. So you'll no longer allow tipping in the restaurant. Why did, yes. How did you come to that decision? Why we're here is because of the staff that we have. Um, Andrew, our events coordinator, started on day one as our dishwasher. Justette, our wine director, started six months in as you know one of, one of our first servers. And these people have grown with us, and it's not like you know we just decided one day to put it out. They were involved from this conversation from day one. Restaurants all over the country have made the same decision as Bar Marco and eliminated tipping, stating that their service and food actually got better. Do you think having a salary position will attract a higher quality of employees for you guys? We hope so. I mean, that's we're going to that move because we believe that you know our current staff are very good, you know, and accomplished professionals. I mean, the salary position is going to be right in line with, if not a little bit higher than, uh, you know, what they are currently making. The salary will enable us to kind of stabilize and, and help budget, help. Um, just provide some stability and you know also with health care there's you know some of the things that we can factor into that too. Uh, yeah you guys are offering health care coverage too and a share in the company correct? Yes yeah there will be uh, you know a profit sharing uh, thing just to and there, so there will be some of that uh, compensation for performance I suppose but uh, you know it's it's more about uh, providing regular stable income in a, you know a position where it's maybe historically not. Minimum wage for tipped jobs in Pennsylvania is $2.83. Creating a salary position is not only stabilizing, but research shows it facilitates better service. How will you make sure that your customers actually follow this new policy? Uh, that's, I mean, that's definitely something we're going to have to work on. Uh, we have a couple of ideas on, on how to do it, but I think just, you know, making sure that our our team really communicates the narrative of what we're doing and why we're doing it, and education is going to be a big uh, part of it. How are you going to cover the cost of the tips for these employees? Are you going to have to raise prices in the menu, or uh, we're going to, you know, leverage the skill in our kitchen, and you know, we can go in and as opposed to buying a, you know, expensive porterhouse steak, uh, we can maybe buy a half a hog, butcher down, get you know, a beautiful pork chop or something like that, and, and have the skill in the kitchen, um, breaking it down. And uh, you know we'll, we can see that find a value there, and that will enable us to um, you know keep stable prices somewhat stable. The average tipper will spend about one thousand three hundred and forty dollars per year in tips. Tipping accounts for forty four billion dollars in the food industry alone. Do you feel like tipping is discriminatory because of how subjective it can be? Was that did that have any factor in your guys' no, change? No, actually, it was the exact opposite. Uh, there have been a lot of studies, a lot of podcasts, and a lot of people looking into it, and they found that people tip out of habit. And um, you may add a dollar or subtract a dollar if your service was good or bad, but generally speaking, uh, someone will tip the same amount no matter what because they know that this person is dependent on that money to survive, but then just not go back to the business which provides no value, you know, that's not good for the business owner because we're then unaware of the fact that, you know, something was amiss with that situation. A Cornell University study found that customers don't vary tips according to service, but rather Americans tip an average of 18 to 20 percent purely out of habit. Uh, you know, I guess the perception is that you could, you, the employee, the customer needs to have that tip to make sure that people are doing a good job, but we strive really hard to only hire professionals that are going to do a good job no matter what. Thank you.